Newman and Verdin in 2017, they published a paper finding that ketones could uh, act to improve lifespan um, and health span. There was a rodent study um, uh, done that looked at these animals in the ketogenic diet or not, and the ketogenic diet animals lived longer, healthier lives. That's the closest study we have. Anyone who wants to talk about longevity studies can only ever rely on animal studies at best. Um, alternatively, they can look at insect studies, but there are no human studies that can really touch on longevity. It's purely in the realm of speculation, which is one of the reasons why I'm I'm a little, not hostile, but indifferent, or I don't appreciate some of the longevity-focused um, sentiment that appears to pervade media, etc., because it's completely based on speculation, which I don't like as a basic scientist. Now, I'm not done yet. There are still more benefits to ketones that I would not talk about if they didn't have substantial support. Um, another one, a fifth one, is the in inhibition of inflammation. This is something I've discussed in previous metabolic classrooms, but there is a molecule that is kind of a master regulator of inflammation called the NLRP3 inflammasome. And those are all just letters, NLRP. P3. An inflammasome just refers to something that's controlling kind of the entire machinery of the inflammatory or immune response within a cell. But suffice it to say, when the NLRP3 inflammasome is turned on, the cell is very active with its immune activation. When ketones are elevated, it inhibits that process. So ketones have a direct anti-inflammatory effect. This could be one of the reasons why ketogenic diets appear to be so beneficial for inflammatory disorders, especially things like a joint disorder, where the inflammation has such an obvious effect. Okay, now the last one that I want to mention is one that I've alluded to, um, which is that ketones can help with metabolic health and even weight loss. I've already described the effect where the ketones can stimulate metabolic rate in fat tissue by up to two to three times in humans, my own work. Um, but also, the very act of wasting ketones represents a kind of break to the traditional thermodynamic view of obesity. You've heard before the idea that you uh, the sentiment in some words that you eat it or you you store it or you burn it. So that gives rise to the sentiment like uh, eat less, exercise more. This, there's this idea that when you consume calories, you either are going to store them or you're going to burn them. However, ketones represent a new way out, which is just wasting them, excreting them. Now, ketones have a caloric value. We sometimes forget that. We only think of calories as coming from things like fats and glucose. Yes, they certainly have an energetic value, um, but so too do ketones. Ketones are used by cells for energy. So appreciate the fact that when someone's in ketosis, every breath out, they are excreting acetone, which is an end product of, of the ketone metabolism. Well, that was a molecule that had a, an energy to it. It was a caloric, a caloric molecule, or every time they're urinating and they're urinating out ketones, that those are calories that are just being directly dumped from the body or wasted out of the body that did not have to be stored or burned. They didn't have to exercise those off to get them out. They were breathing them off. This is just another reflection of the fact that when insulin is low, which it must be when you are making ketones, the body cannot hold on to energy. It will mobilize every possible outlet, every possible process will be turned on in order to waste energy, including increasing metabolic rate and making ketones that can then be just excreted from the body.